Fox Trolls, at its core, is a very, very personal, intimate story about what makes a family. Eggs, our hero, he was raised without a traditional family. He's adopted not by animals or by a tribe, but by something completely outside of human experience. Fox Trolls. Caring, loving, bonded, wonderful community. The box troll fish, he is taking care of eggs since he was little, and even though eggs is a boy and fish is a box troll, that doesn't matter because he has that love for him that he would risk anything for eggs. I mean, to all intents and purposes, fish is his father. A father is the one who raises you, looks after you, loves you. Oh, like fish? Yes. No. By all appearances, it looks like he's been dealt a bad hand. He's got to raise underground in squalor with all this junk around him. He's rich in what matters, which is the kind of the love and the affection, the attention, the care that is given to him by his surrogate family. <laughs> and the box trolls have nurtured him and, and cared for him in a way that Portly Ryan certainly hasn't for, uh, for Winnie. Which one is your father? Lord Portly Ryan. He's usually making speeches about cheese. His daughter, Winifred, is someone who has been lavish with, with gifts, but is starved of affection. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Winnie feels like he loves cheese more than he loves her. Mm. Father. Winifred! But the thing that unites all families, whether they're traditional or alternative, is the love, the care, the, the affection that we have for each other. It's moving, it's touching, and it's ultimately very uplifting. No matter how much <laughs> craziness you go through with your family, <laughs> you want to feel and know that they've got your back through yeah, all of it. They're always there for you.